Okay, so in this lesson we will learn basically few basic phrases and we will learn noun in German and we have learned in the last lesson from 1 to 19 numbers. So in this lesson we will learn from 20 to 100 and yeah. the week, months and season. Okay, so we yeah. can start with uh, basic survival phrases. So means when you want, when you don't understand anything and you want the other person to repeat it, you know, so you can use V bite, pardon means, and that means you are asking about uh, repetition. Yeah. It means I don't know what you have said. How yeah. please? Literally, we can translate it as how please. Uh, basically, we use it when we want someone to repeat what he has said. So, if you want to uh, decline someone's offer politely, you can use nai danke, means no, thank you. For example, I'm offering you uh, a drink and you don't want to take it, so you can use nai danke, no, thank you. And if you want to accept my drink, you can say, ya bite, yes, please. So this is means to accept an offer in a polite way. For example, yeah. cafe so is a question mark means uh, any waitress is asking you cafe. So you can say, ya bite, yes, please. And she says, danke, means thank you. And you can reply in return again. Pite, that means please, it can have three different meanings. There you go, and you are welcome. Yeah. We can have here small dialogue to understand this. Guest, he says, ein beer, bitte, one beer, please. So we have used here one meaning, that means please, please. Or bitte. Second scenario is waitress brings beer. I ask for beer, she brings it, and she says, bite, means there you go. She hands over me. So in yeah. return, she says, bite, there you go. And I receive that, and I say, danke, thank you. And again, uh, waitress can reply, bite, that means you are welcome. So technically, the one word has three different meanings, and it can be used in three different scenarios. Okay? Yeah. Uh, so these are very technically a uh, few phrases. Now we move towards noun. Uh, there's one, you know, simple rule uh, to differentiate noun in, in German. That is, nouns are always capitalized in German language. Either you use, uh, you know, in between the sentence or start of sentence, even at the end of the sentence, nouns will always be capital. Okay? Yeah. So this is that 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 is a simple rule to understand nouns. Uh, for example, here people that can be Frau means I have capital letter at start. Kind, child, Freund, friend, uncle, mother, mother. Okay. And what should be? Can you help me to pronounce this one? Water. 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 Because this yeah. is a pow. We don't have V sound. You yeah. know. Uh, the next we have Veen. Places, Veen, Vienna. Museum, Krankenhaus, hospital. Krankenhaus, Kino, means movie Kino. theater. Bank, bank. Objects, we have first bus. House, Ato, Ato, Zug, Zug, Train, Fenster, Fenster, Ticket, Ticket. All these categories they have one thing common that is first letter is capital because yeah. these are nouns so they will always have one first letter as a capital. So nouns have three different genders in German. Masculine, feminine, and neuter. 
uh, in english we use basically a and r the for indefinite and definite nouns respectively but in in german we have you know three different genders so means three different articles yeah. there is used for masculine nouns the is used for feminine noun and thus that is used for neuter noun and these are for definite nouns uh, if you want to use indefinite article means then you will use ein for masculine eine for feminine nouns and ein for neuter noun neuter gender yeah. and there is no specific rule to remember these uh, articles how i should I, how should i differentiate either this noun is masculine or feminine or even neuter yeah. there is no rule there are few you know uh, guidelines that we can follow next slide uh, so means when we learn noun we should learn with article for example yeah. here their garden their garden means the garden so now i learn this noun garden or garden in sweden in german so i should learn with article that is a simple way to remember the noun there is no rule uh, why should i place here there why should i uh, should i place here t or uh, thus uh, we can't find any specific rule here so the yeah. doctor means the daughter or uh, we can call it eine doctor this is in that yeah. noun thus cafe ein cafe so when i learn this noun i should learn with article thus cafe so there are few nouns they that have two uh, you know words for example beer and garden so we place their article for the last uh, part means beer has article thus and garden we have just seen here their garden yeah there means uh, now we place article here there uh, for the last uh, part yeah. so the another example has two words as a combination house frau means house frau means housewife so frau is a basically feminine yeah. noun and yeah. thus house plus the frau so we will write here article the because the last part is feminine okay yeah these are few combinations that we can use here we have few uh, guidelines to remember noun nouns gender for masculine noun most nouns end on ling for example their liebling mean the darling so this is a, a one trick that i can use yes you yeah. want to say anything no okay so next we have feminine nouns they ends on in most of the time in the last lesson we we learn you know few professions uh, the yeah. feminine professions ends on in so this is yeah. an one you know guideline that we can uh, use uh, for feminine nouns means the americaner means the american so technically i'm talking about the female if it is a americaner that means that is a masculine masculine uh, male uh, next is uh, the uh, the national teeth or the university teeth so if you find this suffix at the end teeth yeah so means it is a feminine the last one we have shen this is for uh, you can say neuter noun for example thus mention the girl if you find shen then we can place their article thus if i don't know that particular yeah. noun the article i can use their thus so these are three four guidelines that we can use to remember noun nouns article next we have countings from 20 to 100 uh, you know in uh, from 1 to 10 we learn this is basically eins why dry fear till zen and then we have we we learned you know there was a pattern from 11 not 11 to 12 13 to 19 11 12 is elf and is well yeah 
and from 13 onward we use just 3 plus zen 4 plus zen mean dry zen fear zen the yeah. same case you can find decimal numbers here first one can be uh, zwan sish can be exception and the next dry sish is also exception you can say because we use here double s double s special letter for others we yeah. use zish it pronounced as a zish zwan zish <laughs> and here you can see fear plus <laughs> zish fear zish <laughs> that become 40 funf zish <laughs> and i just skip next uh, i move to where this one acht zish and neun zish <laughs> means eight plus zish nine plus zish that becomes 90 so these two are exceptions just like uh, the digit 16 and 17 i have removed yeah. the last s six ish and here i move zeban is seven so you remove en zip zish these two are exceptions otherwise we use just dry fear full acht nine plus zish to remember mm -hmm. these decimal numbers yeah and hundred that can be ein hundred or simply you can write hundred hundred or ein hundred okay yeah yeah so uh, these are decimal now we move towards uh, and that numbers from 21 to 29 in english we read like 21 22 but yeah. in german it is opposite you have to read this number first one and then 20 means 1 plus 20. Ein und. Und mean and. Zwanzig. Means 20. 20. 1 yeah. and 20. Here we have mentioned the pattern. Ein und zwanzig. Next is. Zwei und zwanzig. Means technically. You have to learn zwanzig. And 1 to 9 digits. And in yeah. between you can place there. Und. Drei und zwanzig. Fear on the Funf on the and six on the I don't remove here the last S. It will be here now. Yes, and Zeban on the and nine on the So these are uh, patterns from 21 to 29. Here we have a few examples more that is Zwei und Dreyun Fierzish means three and four. Fear und Funfzish. So here I write a few examples that you can help me to complete. For example, I write 78. What should I write here? Akton Jimsis. Exactly. I can write here ah plus you can just place plus means to understand. Und Zibzish. Zip zish. Okay. Yes. What I should for example place here ninety-nine. Nine zish. Nine und nine zish. Yeah. Nine zish. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And one last number is uh, we can place here maybe eighty-five. Fünf und uh, acht ist. Fünf und, und acht ist. Acht ist. Eight sich. Acht yeah. sich. Bitte five. And if we have, for example, number from 44. Und und vier und sich. Vier plus Zish means 40. Four. And I place one more number, for example, 66. Six. Means, six. Uh, six on Texas. Six on Texas. Six. Zish. In this scenario, I'm not using S for six. Zish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Okay, uh, I think uh, that's enough. Maybe one more number I can use from 
9 plus und, und 30. 30. 30. So here we have basically that a special letter. In place a special letter. So that becomes Raizish. This is the only exception with otherwise we use Zish. Yeah. So these are numbers from one basically from 20 to 100. Next we have days of week in German. First one we have Montag. Means we, we, we place it as a Tag. Montag. Dienstag. Yeah. Dienstag, Mittwoch, 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 Donnerstag, Donnerstag, means Thursday, ja, yeah. Freitag, Freitag, Friday, Freitag, Freitag, Friday, and the next we have Samstag, Session. Samstag. Sonntag. Mean? Sonntag. Sunday. Sonntag. This can Sonntag. be pronounced as Samstag, basically. Samstag. Yeah. Sonntag. Sunday. Samstag. Sonntag, yeah. Next we have uh, months in German. So here we can focus on this one. January. Jenur. We can place into three parts. Je, nu, ar. Jenur. 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 Je, nu, ar. Three different yeah. parts. Jenur. Februar. Februar. Pe. Februar. Ru, ru, ar. Means Februar. February. Mars. Mars. Mars, April, April, May, May, Juni, 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 Juli, Juli, August, 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 September, September, September. U September October October November and November. December they are same like English and November and December and the last yeah. we have seasons fruling fruling means fruling spring summer 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 Ups means autumn. Ups up winter. 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 So this is our lesson number four.